Selanjutnya, kita tengok apakah soalannya. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Oops. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tang Xiaowei and I'm a senior consultant breast surgeon at Solis Breast Care and Surgery Center in Glenicles Hospital and I specialize in treating benign and malignant breast conditions. Today, I'm here to debunk your common myths around breast health and breast cancer. Let's see what these myths are. Um, my last mammogram was normal, so I don't need another one. Actually, it's important for a woman to go for regular screening. This is because even if you've had a normal mammogram, your breast cells can change, so breast cancer can develop in the interim. So women above the age of 50 are recommended to go for a mammogram every two years, and women from the age of 40 to 49 are advised to discuss with your doctor to see the pros and cons of mammogram. And if you do choose to have screening, you should consider doing your mammogram every year. So it's important to keep to a regular screening schedule for early detection of cancer. Needle biopsies disturb cancer cells and cause them to spread to other parts of the body. Actually, that's not true. Cancer cells in itself have an inherent nature to evade your body's immune system. So they will spread to other parts of your body, whether or not you do a biopsy. Um, needle biopsies are actually a simple small procedure where we take a little bit of tissue from the lump and then we send it off to the lab for them to tell us what type of lump it is and whether it is cancer or not. So the biopsy in itself actually does not cause the cancer to spread. All breast cancers are treated pretty much the same way. Actually, for treatment plans for breast cancer now vary very widely between patients because there are different types of breast cancer depending on the cell type, the molecular or the hormonal subtype. So the treatment for breast cancer also involves different modalities like surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, hormonal therapy or even targeted therapy. So each patient's treatment plan can actually be personalised and individualised to their own needs, their preferences and also to their breast cancer subtype. Last but not least, there's nothing I can do to prevent breast cancer. Okay, well, there are many breast cancer risk factors that are beyond our control. For example, the fact that you're a woman, uh, the fact that we all get older, our age, uh, your family history, or when you first started or stopped having your menstrual periods. Uh, there are things that you can do to reduce your risk of breast cancer. It's important to maintain a healthy lifestyle, limit your fat and alcohol intake, maintain a healthy weight, and keep to an active lifestyle with regular exercise. However, doing all these things do not guarantee that you do not get breast cancer. So it's important to be breast aware and to go for regular screening and to report any unusual changes to your doctor for early detection and treatment of breast cancer.